Hello, the internet. I have a new battery. It's a 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery by Kepworth. And uh, I also have the Renergy battery monitor, which I've got to fit in. Over there somewhere. So at the moment, I currently have these 100 amp hour Halfords lead acid batteries which weigh a bloody ton each and as you can see they take up quite a bit of space so the one battery will fit in here and then uh, we'll have all of this extra space apart from the inverter which is overkill at 3000 watts so I'll probably get rid of that but today's job unwire all of this crap and get that in Wish me luck. Right, I have liberated four batteries. Uh, these are the Halfords HLB 700s, 100 amp hour, 200 cycles. And these things, it doesn't say, 24 kilograms each these way. Um, I don't think it says what this one weighs. but it's certainly not 24 kilograms. It weighs about the same as one of these. Maybe a little bit heavier than one. But now we've got a, uh, a hole to fill and probably quite a few bits of modifications and some uh, wiring to tidy up to make it safe, safe. All right, so we have the battery installed. Everything's reasonably plumbed in well I need to get some more 8 gauge cable because I didn't quite reach the shunt that's down there for the uh, energy battery monitor so we're saying 100% charge we're 199 amp hours so we've got the Renergy battery monitor. We have the Renergy solar charge controller. And we also have the Renergy DC to DC battery charger. Um, it's the 60 amp one, but I've had to do the little thing to make it so it halves the amperage because these Kenworth batteries can only take a um, 50 amp current input charger's max. So that'd be 10 amps over. Um, about 30 amps is fine. Uh, the Renergy charger is a 40 amp one. I'm not a Renergy fanboy, honest. And then we've got our inverter down there. And the small inverter and the power's of laptop up there. Um, now, these batteries are, the weight of them, I looked it up on their site, they're 22 kilograms. Those Halfords batteries are 24 kilograms. This is 200 amp hour. One of those batteries is a 100 amp hour. Well, 50 amp hour really, because it's lead acid. And it weighs more. So I've got double capacity for the weight of one. I might get another one. Sacrifice a bit of space. I have another one up there. Give me 400 amp power. And I'm currently not a particularly nice day. It's been raining on and off, but the solar panels, these are 130 watts each. And we're currently getting 42 watts of charge, because the weather's crap. 
but when the weather improves, we should get some better charge out of the uh, panels. Anyway, I'll link the links in the description for the charger, the solar charger, and the uh, battery monitor. And also this battery down here, if you would like to purchase them. Um, at the moment, the only thing that is running is the uh, Alfie Cool fridge. I think it's a C20 or something. And it's using no current. So it's just plugged in here to my, uh, my little 3D printed and uh, Amazon special board. And if you're wondering why I have so many USBs, because the idea of the van is to do astrophotography and there's lots of cameras that are plugged in via USB to be powered. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that cheese stuff. <laughs>